asked us to investigate. An East Side Valley family is without air conditioning once again. The family called us last week after their AC broke in the apartment because the property managers refused to replace the unit. After our cameras confronted them, the AC was fixed the next day, but today we've learned it was back out sending one man to the hospital for a second time. 13 Action News reporter Michael Burton headed back to the apartment complex for answers. Back again, Enclave Apartments. Last week, Shane Knight found himself in a hospital bed after passing out in his apartment. That day, our 13 Action News cameras confronted the office manager. Leslie, we're responding to several complaints of broken AC units. Do you have and within 24 hours, Shane's AC was fixed. I get out of the hospital, the air conditioning worked for about three days. And then yesterday, the air conditioner went out again. Shane passed out again. I walked around the corner here and I found Shane there sprawled out on the floor. I didn't know what to think. Family members assumed the worst. I rubbed his chest, rubbed his chest. He wouldn't wake up. I kind of pounded on his chest. His eyes kind of opened a little bit. I got him up enough to get him into his room and get him, to, get him into his chair and then proceeded to call 911. I got 13 pieces of metal on my heart keeping me alive. I can't be in anything over 90 degrees. The family is relying on fans like this because when there's no air circulating through the apartment, the heat is stifling. No air coming from this air duct. And when you turn the corner, the thermostat reads 89 degrees. In smaller spaces like the bedrooms, they're coming in at 95 degrees. I called management yesterday and they hung up on me. We called the office manager. Burton, B-U-R-T-O-N but she was unavailable for comment. Shane and his family don't know what to do. Their options and rights tonight at six. I'm Michael Burton, 13 Action News. A SWAT situation wakes up neighbors